Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about few ILE related concepts. So mainly we will discuss about the procedures, sub procedures and main procedures. And we will see like how we can call the same sub procedure that is declared in the same program. And so let's go through the program. So here I have created one program that is main proc. So we will discuss each and every line of this program. So we are writing this program in fully free format so on the very first position i have written star star free to just to uh, start my uh, just to start the code in a fully free format and after that i am using some control options uh, in which i am setting the default activation group as a star no it is mandatory because uh, here we are using the ile concept but we are not going to create the module for the program okay so we are not going to create any module we are just normally compiling this program so that's why this uh, option is very mandatory if you want to uh, compile your program by taking option 14 instead of taking 15 option for creating the module and after that i am declaring my main procedure so with this keyword main keyword you have to put the main procedure name and it should be always same as your program name so my program name is also main proc so that's why i have written it as a main proc okay so these two uh, control option we have to put just uh, to create the program where we will declare the sub procedures and then uh, we will call that sub procedure into the main procedure okay now from here line number 14 my main procedure is start okay so let me tell you about the main procedure main procedure is a place or a set of code in which what we do we uh, call the uh, different other different uh, sub procedure so let's say we have five options okay so what we will do we will create a five sub procedure for each and every function and in main procedure we will call one by one as per our requirement okay so in this main proc what we are going to do we will call one sub procedure whose name is start with sub proc so here on line number 31 you can see that i'm calling this sub procedure with one user id and it will take that user id and on the basis of that user id it will return the username okay so we will discuss this main procedure part later firstly we will discuss about this sub procedure part so that uh, we will learn like how uh, procedures is created and then we will see how we are utilizing this in main proc so from line number 14 i am directly going to line number 42 and here our pro sub procedure part is started so first step to declare a sub procedure is you have to write in that way like dcl proc and your sub procedure name so my sub procedure name is sub proc here you can choose any name it is not mandatory to uh, keep it same as a uh, uh, your program name but in while declaring the main procedure it should be same as your main proc or uh, lock uh, your program name okay so the first difference between my uh, sub procedure and main procedure is that it should be uh, for main procedure uh, the name of the main procedure should be same as program name but uh, sub procedure can be of any name okay after that we have to declare its pi pi means procedure interface so if we talk about sub procedure so it is something related to uh, the subroutine but it is not exactly the subroutine even it is much better than subroutine because subroutine we can call in a same in a single program program but if we talk about the sub procedure we can call the sub procedure in different pr uh, program also okay so reusability is increased with the concept of sub procedure so on line number 46 we are declaring the pi so we have to write in that way dcl pi and then your sub procedure name so my sub procedure name is sub proc okay. uh, you can change any name but it should it it would be great if you, you are using the same name okay and then after that you have to write the uh, like here i'm writing the char 30 which means it will return some data of character type of length 30 okay so here we usually keep the those values which we want to return from this sub procedure and inside the pi we have to write those values which we want to accept from uh, as a parameter for this 
procedure so what this sub procedure will do sub proc will do it will take user id as an input so of type numeric 4 and it will return the username on the basis of that user id okay and below to that i am declaring one variable that is username that we will uh, in which we will store some information and send back to the uh, main procedure where we are calling this okay so now the main logic is started so in main logic what i am doing i'm just checking whether the user id is equal to four double double four double two if it is equal to double four double two then it will return the username as share myth otherwise it will return username not found okay so and after that i am just returning the value so in a very simple way we have seen like how we can create the sub procedure and what all things need to be declared for sub procedure so first of all you have to declare the pi part where we will keep uh, the information that uh, we will take as an input inside the pi and just uh, after the sub procedure pi name you have to put uh, those values that you want to return from your program okay and if you don't want to take any input or don't want to any uh, uh, return any in, uh, output then you can keep it as a blank but there should be a, a dcl pi and npi okay but inside that you can you you can leave it as a it as a blank okay that you have to declare some variable that you are going to use in this program so sub procedure is actually a different program don't consider it as a same program we are writing it as a different program so it means we can call this sub proc from other procedure uh, programs also but for that you have to put ex, uh, export keyword here okay that we will see in the upcoming session but here we are using in the same procedure program so that's why we are just declaring it the pi part then variable and then the main logic and after that we will return those value that we want to return so username is of character 30 so i'm returning it back to the main procedure fine so we see like how so procedure is created and what it will do it will take user id and will return the username now we will go back again to the main procedure so here we have to do the same steps that we do for the sub -pro, uh, sub proc because it's just one thing that needs to be changed like uh, here the main procedure name should be same as the program name after that i am declaring the pi part for my main procedure that is procedure interface and here i don't want to take any input or don't want to return any uh, output that's why i'm keeping uh, it as a blank like dcl pi main proc and npi okay and below to that i am declaring two variables that is user id of numeric 4 and username as character 30 and below to that i am writing my main logic so i'm just putting uh, the user id as 4422 and below to that on line number 31 i am calling my sub procedure that is sub proc with the one parameter that is user id okay so what it will do it will call my sub proc uh, with this value 4422 but please make sure that you are passing it uh, within the uh, variable like if you directly put 4422 here then it will not work so make sure that you are passing by assigning it into some other variable okay so i'm assigning 4422 in user id variable and then i'm passing that user id variable once it is executed it will return the username and that username will be stored in this username variable and on line number 33 i'm just displaying this username and below to that i'm using star inlr equals to star on it means uh my last uh, last record indicator is turned on or it is uh, up to you like you can use both of these function but uh, of course but it uh, like if you want to return something then you can use uh, return otherwise you can keep only this star inlr on that is also sufficient okay so it is not mandatory to keep both of these values okay and after that i'm just doing the end proc so that's how we can declare the main procedure so the first portion where we are calling the sub procedure is the main procedure okay and the procedure that we are calling is uh, called as sub procedure so this is the only difference between the procedures main procedures and sub procedures 
and let's say uh, if there is a requirement where we are not going to return any value in that case we can remove this line and instead of that we can directly write star inlr equals to star all okay fine so code is clear and now what we will do we will compile it by taking option 14 and then we'll see the output so it is compiled successfully now i will call this so it is returning output as shermit which is correct because my id that is passed as a uh, parameter is double four double two and as per the logic it should return shermit so this is correct and if i change this user id let's say if we make it as a double one double two then it should return that user name not exist or not found i'll compile it again call it again so we got the correct or desired output that is username not found okay so this is the uh, uh, this is the things related to the ile like uh, we have discussed in this session about the main procedure and sub procedure the difference between main procedure and sub procedure also we see like how to create the sub procedure in the same program and utilize the same within the same program okay so mainly we are creating in same uh, same program and we are calling it also in the uh, main or same program okay so yeah that's it for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech method